sometimes you think you can love it out of them. You can't. You can't. Mm-mm. Because you're not, y'all not on the same level. The love that you're giving, they're not even going to understand. It wasn't that I didn't acknowledge my partner was unequal to me or that this was an inequitable relationship. I knew that we were not of the same level or stature. Yet, I guess I, I didn't, like, I didn't see why it mattered. Just like the kinky kid, I didn't see why it mattered until it mattered the most. So when my male significant came to me at 27 years old to my 22, it didn't matter. It didn't matter that he was still dressing like he was 25. It didn't matter that he was going out like he was 21 to the strip clubs and to the parties. Now it's crashing in on me. All right, guys, so welcome to my channel. My name is Lamaya. Getting straight into the commentary, I just wanted to discuss a live stream that I caught via playback, and it was entitled Self. And this video was published by The Kinky Kid. Now, within this live stream, The Kinky Kid was talking with another commentator, and pretty much she was discussing learning to love yourself. And if you know anything about The Kinky Kid, she always stresses the importance of learning about yourself because to learn about yourself is to love yourself and to love yourself is to learn yourself. To love yourself is to learn yourself and to learn yourself is to love yourself. That's deep. But um, anyways, I found this to be rather significant because the kinky kid talks about sex. She doesn't talk about vanilla sex. She talks about kinky, kinky sex per the name, the kinky kid with a D, not, not a T, with a D. So I'm um, getting to the point. Within this live stream, the kinky kid was discussing or rather detailing a relationship that she was a part of. And this was from her younger years. And pretty much she was in relations with a significant that wasn't at her level. But she was discussing, as she was discussing this relationship, she made significance of how important it is to date someone that is of your level, that is at your level, that is of your stature, you know? And she didn't see why it mattered at the time, but she now knows, given the experiences that she shared with this significant, how important it is to be in relations with someone that is equal to you. And this resonated so profoundly for me because it it's parallel to my experience with my once male significant. It wasn't that I didn't acknowledge my partner was unequal to me or that this was an inequitable relationship. I knew that we were not of the same level or stature, yet... I didn't see why it mattered. Quite like the kinky kid said, she was dating a lot of white collared men when in reality, she should have been dating blue collared men. But instead, honestly, she was dating a lot of ivory tower men. She was dating celebrities. She was dating pro athletes. She was dating Grammy award nominated or Grammy award winners. Like she was dating these type of men. And, you know, like I said, in reality, she should have been with blue collared men given her profession and what she was doing. But because of how she was as a person, although professionally she wasn't matched to them, they were matched, you know, in theory because of other attributions. But nonetheless, you know, for me, I guess I, I didn't, I, like, I didn't see why it mattered. Just like the kinky kid, I didn't see why it mattered until it mattered the most. And that's why I wanted to make this commentary because that's literally what I was, what I was saying as I was watching this video and listening to her sentiments. I was like, damn. It didn't, I didn't see why, she kept on saying, you know, I didn't see why it mattered, I, I didn't see why it mattered. And then I told myself, and I was like speaking to her, I was like, you didn't know why it mattered until it mattered most. And another aspect of this commentary, which I too appreciated, was where the kinky kid referenced how she was well-to-do as a child, how she is well-to-do as a person, but more specifically, she drew significance to how she was well-to-do as a child. You know, she was driving a Cadillac. She didn't want for anything in her era. Um, she also referenced being a nerd, which is something I can relate to. I wouldn't necessarily say that I was a nerd, but according to the qualities that I most identify with when I reference my younger self, I, I was a nerd, you know, I was reserved, I didn't have a lot of friends, I was the academic, I was making A, B, honor roll, sometimes straight A's, um, I was always career oriented, I just pursued any venture that was educational, it didn't even necessarily have to be an academic venture, so I was rather nerdy and well-to-do, and because of this, I found that I was a late bloomer, you know, I bloomed a bit late because I wasn't doing everything that everybody else was doing, not to suggest, you know, that I wouldn't want to do those things, it just didn't happen that way for me, yet 
and comparable to the kinky kid, she was able to do a bit more than myself. She was able to present her curiosities to her mother and say, you know what? I might want to do sex work. I want to pursue stripping. I want to pursue dominatrix work. And she did these things and became the kinky kid. But for myself, you know, I didn't necessarily have all these experiences until now. And at this point in my life, I've made mistakes. I'm starting to make mistakes. Whereas before, I never had to make mistakes. I was able to be perfect because I had other people blooming around me at the average rate. I had other people blooming around me at an earlier rate. So I got to learn from people around me, whether it was my peers, whether it was my elders. I was learning through their mistakes. But very recently have I learned through my own. So until I got to that point, I didn't realize how much things mattered until I had the experience to afford me the knowledge to say, this is why this matters. And this is why this doesn't matter. So when my male significant came to me at 27 years old to my 22, it didn't matter. It didn't matter that he was still dressing like he was 25. It didn't matter that he was going out like he was 21 to the strip clubs and to the parties. It didn't matter that... You know, he was still in the same profession for five years and didn't have any thoughts of the future. It didn't matter that he was family-oriented, as he would speak of, but there was no family. There was no um, initiative to show that he was willing or ready to be that man that he is so capable of becoming. It didn't matter. It didn't matter until it mattered most. But I didn't know, you know? I lacked experience. I was a late bloomer. And that's why I feel like A lot of it didn't matter initially because I just didn't fucking know. I didn't know. And sometimes, too, as the kinky kid also referenced, as women, you know, we think it doesn't matter because I need a a rude boy that's good to me with street credibility. Not necessarily saying that we want a thug, but that line, you know, you want somebody that will give it to other people, but you don't think that it will come back to you. Like, you can be that way with other people. You can be rude. You can be this. You can be that. But you're not going to be that way with me because I can love you better than she can. Not, you know, to suggest that there's a third party. I'm just referencing a lot of music and lyrics. But, you know, like, sometimes you think you can love it out of them. You can't. You can't. Mm-mm. Because you're not. Y'all not on the same level. The love that you're giving, they're not even going to understand And I'm saying that from my experience. Like, I was given love that he just couldn't comprehend. It was hard for him to accept or to acknowledge because that wasn't, he didn't, he didn't know. Or he wasn't ready to, to, to understand it. So that's why, you know, you realize, like, the level, the stature, it matters. You need somebody that's able to receive your love and also reciprocate that. He was able to receive it, but not fully because he was unable to reciprocate it fully. You know, so that's that's what I got from just the beginning half of that commentary. And I just wanted to share that with you all because it really spoke to me in a way that I haven't been able to, I don't know, acknowledge that relationship from such a perspective. So hopefully it resonates for you and helps you with whatever it helps you with.